I just bought a new laptop and I'm going to talk a bit about it in this video. Um, I'll also mention the specs of my previous laptop and the rationale for getting uh, this new one. But first, uh, we'll have to uh, go through the usual rounds of uh, announcements. So, one, uh, I'm super, super excited to tell you that I'm about to release the first part of my uh, Python for Ethical Hacking and Penetration Testing course. So, why do I say the first part? Well, uh, I decided to have two separate courses. In the first part uh, course, um, I'll get you through uh, Python basics, and then in the second part, we'll apply Python and penetration testing. Um, in the description of this video, you will find the link to subscribe to the group of people who get notified first uh, when the course is released uh, and uh, they will get an exclusive discount for the course. And that's actually going to be probably in a couple of days. Okay, so that's that. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, please click that magic button and uh, let's grow uh, this channel together so that more people can learn about cybersecurity. Also, if you own a website and need a security check, there's a link in the description uh, to request a penetration test from me. Uh, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching for penetration testing or you need a consultation on cybersecurity matters, uh, there are also links uh, for that below. All right, now um, let's talk about the laptops. So um, let's start with my old one, if I could call it old. Uh, that's actually an um, Asus Ultrabook uh, UX 306 UA uh, with 8 gigs of uh, RAM, i5 CPU and uh, 512 uh, gigs uh, SSD storage and no dedicated GPU. Uh, now, to be honest, this is an amazing laptop. Uh, what I like most about it, it's that it's still quite powerful for present day uh, use. And uh, uh, the big thing that I like about it, it's uh, is that it's actually super slim and very light. It's a 13 inch laptop that actually weighs uh, 2.9 pounds or 1.2 kilograms. And it's um, 0.54 inch thin or uh, 14 millimeters. Uh, and on top of that, uh, even after two years of heavy use, I would say that the battery can still actually last uh, close to eight hours. So a uh, really, really good piece of um, equipment. Now, the big, big question is uh, why change it then? So um, I would say that there are two main reasons. Uh, First, given uh, this YouTube channel, I do a lot of video editing and even though I can do decent uh, work on the older Asus, a more powerful laptop would actually do a better job. So that's one reason. And uh, the second reason is that as a penetration tester, I run a lot of um, VMs and uh, for these VMs to run breezily, uh, they need uh, a good allocation of resources. On the old laptop, for example, I have 8 gigs of RAM. Um, and if I run a Kelly virtual machine and give it like 2 to 4 gigs of RAM um, out of the 8, it actually performs decent um, and um, it, it can get laggy at times. Now, trying to run multiple VMs at the same time and have as well Chrome open with a lot of tabs uh, in the main OS in Windows, that actually becomes a very big challenge. So more RAM and uh, a better CPU would be a good solution. Um, yeah, I think I could also say that there is a third reason as well. So um, that's the fact that I took advantage of a very big discount on this uh, new laptop through a local retailer. All right, now drum rolls, please. Uh, so the new laptop is uh, still called Asus by its last name, uh, but the, its first name is uh, UX480FD. Uh, it is also uh, known as the ZenBook Pro. So this is a 14-inch laptop with the exact dimensions of the old one. 
So they were able to actually fit a larger screen in the exact casing, which uh, it's, this is a very big winning point. Now this is an i7 quad core with 16 gigs of RAM, uh, still 512 SSD storage, um, and it also has an NVIDIA GPU with 4 uh, gigs of dedicated RAM, which is a very strong point, uh, if you ask me. Now, on top of that, uh, they've turned the touchpad into another screen, which <laughs> is crazy. Um, however, you can still use it. So it's called a screen pad, but you can still uh, use it as a traditional touchpad, though. I haven't played with it a lot. Um, again, what I like about it is that it's the exact size and width and depth to the older one, but um, the slight disadvantage uh, to the old one um, is that it's not as light or as uh, thin. So this new laptop weighs uh, 3.5 pounds or actually 1.6 kilograms versus the 2.9 pounds or 1.2 kilograms the older one. So this is actually slightly heavier. And it's also a 0.7 inches or a 18 millimeters thin. So I would like to call it thin instead of thick versus 0.54 inches or uh, 14 millimeters for the older one. But to be honest, I don't really mind that. It's still super slim um, given it's a uh, very powerful specs. So I only got it a few days ago. Um, and I'm actually still uh, getting used to it. Uh, doing a few tests um, and actually running Kali Linux virtual machine and giving it like 8 gigs of uh, RAM out of the uh, 16, man, I gotta say that it flies. Even when I have a lot of uh, uh, Chrome tabs open and doing like video editing at the same time. And the, this is with the battery profile in normal mode. And it's not actually even in a performance mode. Another thing is that it's not noisy. Uh, it doesn't seem to get heated up under pressure. And it has uh, this nice hinge lifting feature that uh, probably helps a lot with uh, cooling and airflow. Uh, and the uh, Harman Kardon speakers give, uh, give it a crystal clear and loud sound output which is much, much better um, compared to the older laptop, I would say. Now, the webcam is better than the older laptop, uh, but to be honest, compared to other laptops, I would say it's, uh, it's modest, to say the least. Anyway, so I'm super pleased with this new tiny rocket that I bought, and I'm very eager to actually use it in video production as well as penetration testing and cybersecurity. So um, this is actually money well spent, or that's uh, at least uh, what I'm saying to myself. Now, I'll put links in the description uh, to both my old laptop and this new one or closer resemblance to them so that you can check all the specs in more, uh, in more details yourself. Now, comment below uh, what laptop you're using for penetration testing and how satisfied uh, um, you are with it. Do you feel like uh, you'd actually need an upgrade? Now, that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.